as the future of the church in America. But to be honest with you, Dr. Bright, I really, the future of the church is, in my eyes, very bleak and dismal. I think that right now the church is extremely silent and mum on policies and procedures or legislations that are contrary to the word of God. Mm -hmm. And I think that because you're having more pastors who are compromising their, their stance on what the word of God says about a particular policy, for instance, abortion is one, life is, we know it is important. And I think that when you look at the gay community and the LGBTQ community, I think that the Bible makes it very clear that it is an abomination. And I think that we in the church are speaking too much about the love of God and not enough about repentance to God. Mm. The love of God is that gay community be delivered and healed. All have sinned and fallen short of the and glory all of God. Us should and repent. I also believe that we all should repent. Yes, so let yes. me ask you why you feel... All right, real quick, before he goes, I want you all to pay attention to the response. So if, if you don't know the history... Jamal Bryant has done a lot of stuff we've talked about on the show that's very, 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 very questionable. <laughs> um, and somebody's actually bringing them to the carpet. But mm -hmm. I want y'all to pay real close attention to the to the back and forth that happens after this. The statue this is, on the table is questionable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. That for, you, bro. for real? President Trump has not repented to any of these women. He has offended and has been found guilty by court of assaulting and unresponsible behavior but to none of them he has apologized as one of his spiritual advisors and leaders what do you say to him about repentance i can simply say this that president trump in those particular regards have not admitted to any of those deeds right right we're talking but about, you talk about repentance and sin and that part of our call is to call people into repentance. And that includes it, the gay community. And this also calls presidents and people who are in authority and to whom much is given. the LGBT community. You are Nathan. And you, you are, are Nathan. Jonathan. You are a and prophet, you are, and you are called you are to speak called to, to the president of the United States. You are called to tell them that the and you of are called and the to say of God to men and that we have a responsibility to honor to tell them both man they need and to turn female. Their heart Absolutely. And repent, and repent. Every, every sinner. Every sinner. Every one of them. Not apologize to them. Every not sinner. Not negotiate with whether them, you are president, a senator, them, love them, yes, a love stripper, a teacher, or you work at the ice cream factory. Yes. So we agree all of Sin, Absolutely. And everybody who sins Martin needs Brothers to repent. Chief Center. I, I'm your vice president. <laughs> We're in it together. Yeah. I'm grateful that we've had. Okay. <laughs> Brothers get a hand clap for you are Nathan. being able to keep You their, are Brian. <laughs> they kept their points without and talked over each other. I was actually washing dishes yeah. and I heard it pop, heard it going off and I was yeah. like, oh, I got another uh, background app that's opened up. What's going on? Because they were just talking, <laughs> talking over, over each other. Each other. <laughs> so, 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 okay. So let's let's take this piece by piece because this is what happens a lot with us as Christians, I believe. Yes. And Christians in quotation. I don't know. <laughs> so Jamal Bryant was called out for some of the things that he's done that were wrong, right? His reaction was, Well, what about you? So mm -hmm. that was the first yeah. like mistake that a lot of Christians do. Instead of answering yeah, the question, the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're always looking for the, the yeah. mm -hmm. thorn in somebody else's eye, right? But then the other guy, <laughs> instead of being like you know what? You're right. You're right. I need to call it. But of course, he works for him, so he can't mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. I need to also hold President Trump accountable for the things he's done. Yeah. He makes excuses for him. Yeah. Mm. So now it's just blind leading the blind. <laughs> what about you? Well, what about you? That's what, what about you? Jamal. What about yeah. you? What a, and it's like, it both of like, y'all need to stop doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 stop yeah. making excuses for this man yeah. and stop doing what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's why I'm lost. It's like, because we all have the thing that we're holding on to. Yeah. That we think is okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We never get anything done because we always say, "You calling me out, but what about you?" Mm -hmm. yeah. me, we mm -hmm. never fix anything because yeah. we think it's okay. Yeah. What? How do we? Do you? How do, do you we feel do like it? there was any? Like, if you go further into that clip, he was saying that publicly Donald Trump hasn't admitted to anything. Yeah, he said it. So, mm -hmm. do you yeah. feel like that? That's enough for him to. No, that's a cop out. To to <laughs> not that go into that conversation. It's, it's been clear. It's been clear as day that Donald Trump needs to. First of, of all, of course, even if you even if you don't believe he's guilty, which this guy I guess yeah. doesn't a lot millions of people across the country 
don't think he did anything wrong. This yeah. is like a witch hunt, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> he's done something wrong in his life. And the man says he's never repented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. okay. So no, Trump said that. Trump, Trump said, said never, never Out of his own yeah. mouth, his own yeah. face said that. Why would I need to repent? I've never so done anything So that's wrong. wrong. Yeah. No yeah, matter wh- how you twist this, that's yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the problem is whenever we get called out, we never say, man. You're right. Let me think about that. Accountability. Yeah. Let me think about that. Yeah. yeah. Instead, you you immediately go for defense, yeah. and they're yeah. they're both doing it, and it's like, man, if they would just both stop and say, man, what what if that guy is mm-hmm. right about what he's saying about? Mm-hmm. But that's a relationship problem. I think we all do that. I think we do that even when we're not talking about the the word of God or holding our brother or sister accountable. We do that in conversations. Whenever, uh, like Jeremiah said, I did it today. What what was Yo, I? Oh, you do it all the time. What was I doing today? Well, you were like, oh, backpedal, right, you, backpedal. You're backpedal. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> no. The trailer, right? I was watching the trailer. We yeah. were doing the Patreon earlier. And you was like, oh, you're backpedaling. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Because none of us <laughs> want to be wrong. You yeah. don't want to be wrong, but you know what I'm saying? Like, when it, when it doesn't matter, when it's something that I don't have to hold on to that point, I'll let y'all get it. I'll be like, okay, y'all Eventually, right. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody don't want to take the medicine. Mm. Yeah. I think that's the, the low key thing is taking the medicine if somebody points out the obvious because then it's a tit for tat. You know what I mean? And you don't want to, unless you, un, unless you want to be like, held accountable, to other people's what people are telling you nobody wants to be felt like on a spot like you know what i'm saying they want to yeah. be on a spot about like yo you need to get this no you need to get this no you need to get that and i think for them um they both had good points i think the thing is is which one is going to say for jesus I surrender. There you go. Mm. Because the whole conversation yeah. to me was real like politics. Yeah. Like we 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 yeah. doing politics. Now I know what my platform is, but it was a polit a politic conversation. Yeah. Nobody was really saying like, yo, let me let me pull back the word of God. What 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 is the source of what I'm doing, yeah. right? Why am I doing it? Because unfortunately, the the society we live in, we didn't have all this social media stuff. Then nobody feel like they had to answer something yeah. mm-hmm. on a platform. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so you see two people where I feel like the other gentleman, you know, his whole goal is from a political stance, right? Yeah. He brought up two things that have to do with policies and politics. Yeah. Yeah. That was his whole goal. Yeah. So then now we go back to his heart. What was your heart of bringing Jamal Bryant, right? Yeah. What was your heart of correction? It wasn't even really, you get what I'm saying? Because you, if you want to have a conversation pastor to pastor, it should be about our heart. Where was our heart at when we when we yeah. chose to do mm-hmm. that? There was no heart conversation. Yeah. It was a angle. It was an angle. And so so for anybody out there, real quick, what was what did Jamal Bryant originally say about LGBT? Did I, did he, he apologized to a a uh, LGBT church, church. on behalf mm-hmm. of black pastors? Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. we all black pastors. Yeah. All black pastors. Wow. Yeah. Now, basically saying that we were wrong for saying this is a sin and this is right. wrong and all that. That's why Gino should, got out of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, his, his, yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't it have been that one of them should have stopped when they saw that they were over talking the other two? No, no. This is, this is, I feel like that so was Jamal wrong. Jamal Bryant represents the Democrats, liberal yeah. black church, yeah, and he represents conservative <laughs> black church. So this is so. a, this is a no, war. But you 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 know one of the things it's about courtesy is that you stop and you let the other person have their point. No, not with politics. Politics you have to you can't stop talking because if you you if you stop you lose. Then when, that's I what mean, they taught. shouldn't have been having a political conversation. But this is a political person. Up. This is the advisor to Donald Trump. Isn't he a pastor? Yeah. Whose church are they at? This is uh, Jamal Bryant's podcast. Yeah, this is his podcast. Oh, what, with that? Uh, what is that statue doing? That's on what I was asking. I was about to say, <laughs> that's like, probably in his office somewhere. It's the answer. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> you put that mask on like and get Chick-fil-A inspiration. Luau. I, I don't told him know, to grow but, weed. Yeah. You should grow yeah. weed. <laughs> <laughs> but, but to me, this to me this represents the issue with both sides of this political issue. Correct. Yes. Nobody can see their own logs in their eyes. Yeah. There's problems on both sides of this, and and we we need to look at this and say, where is, should the church land between yeah. these two people? Yeah. Where should we land? We we cannot ignore biblical principles right because we love our skin color and we want to protect our skin color yeah we also can't excuse bad behavior just because somebody is pretending to care about our big biblical principles yeah yeah you can't do either one of those things and and i think the problem is because our politics forces you you have to do this or you have to do this if you don't vote for this guy you means you're voting for the other guy it's it's it forces you to make compromises just Uh, to exist as a citizen when we have to be better than that it can't be just pick this evil or that evil yeah i think i think 
Uh, one, ain't you tired of that? <laughs> ain't you tired of that? I'm tired of hearing, let's pick the less between two. I hate that. Right. That's right. But I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I think people just have to realize that, one, we're kingdom citizens if you're a Christian. We're kingdom citizens. Right. And if you voting, um, whoever gets in office, God is in control. Absolutely. Scripture yeah. talks about like sure, we need to pray sure. for our pray yeah. for our leadership. Pray like God. When you question what happens, is like God, what you doing? Why why you chose him? Whatever. Right. And I think sometimes we we want to have that control, and we want our points to be made more than we want to see um, our land heal more than we see that. And then sometimes people think laws will change people's lives. Like we 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 had a conversation and talked about the Ten Commandments coming into. Um, Louisiana and the schools, yeah. which is sounds yeah. great, but to me, I was like, I'd rather prayer because to me, prayer is a spiritual thing, and 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 you're talking to the Father more than just laws saying, "Hey, don't do that." What does that mean? That's it's a great start, but you can't live well, there. I, I mean, I get why prayer would be something that you know you've got too many, you got a melting pot of too many religions, too many beliefs, yeah. too many um, right. cultural differences. For a prayer to be accepted back into the school in that sense, but the Ten Commandments it's could the just same problem. It's you, the same problem. Yeah, it could be, but it's still law. I mean, it's still law. You it's just just American put it on the wall as law. law. You know what I'm saying? Because then you would have to put the my every, every other yeah. person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the same challenge, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but these are these are things that kids are learning to keep them out of jail, keep them out of prison. You say the same thing about all the other people. Regular laws is that. <laughs> what I mean, keeps, what keeps you yeah, going? but still, I just feel like I feel like. You having a prayer with, you know, dozens and dozens of kids is different from him. Well, it depends on the teacher. With. If the teacher's a Christian and she's praying with the with the with the kids, because now we're getting stuff, we're seeing stuff online where witches are are becoming teachers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and, and trying to do spells and saying, yeah. Hey, that kid was protected by God because I can't do nothing. You know what I mean? So you're hearing all this yeah. food stuff. At the end of the day, it should be this person gets them on stage, says, I want to be your president, I want to be your governor, I want to be your such and such. I believe in this. That ain't right. Yeah. Well, this person says, well, forget him. I, I believe in this. Yeah. That ain't right yeah. either. So you got to find somebody else. Yeah. Mm. Neither yeah. one of these things are right. Yeah. yeah. You can't just be like, well, this guy is kind of right more yeah. than this guy's. So evil. then you get the independent. Right, yeah. but then what happens there? But the problem is this is too late. We're too late. <laughs> the fact the fact that this guy is going to get up against this guy means that we made mistakes way way before this. Sure, yeah, this sure. this is just this is just punishment at this point. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Dang, Sean, punishment. You, you got to be involved from the very 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 beginning locally to make sure jokers like this don't even get the chance. Yeah, to yeah. be in front of. Oh, you. I see what like, you that's mean. the problem. That's what you mean. Well, I mean that would mean that. Our, our Congress and our Senate needs to get out of their high school phase because they are acting way too childish to even make laws. But y'all got to understand, this is the same bird. When people realize it, it's the same bird. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the wings of left wing, right wing, is the same it's bird. The same. They need each other to pass laws. <laughs> right. They need each other to say, hey, man, if Sean is a Republican, I'm a Democrat. I say, Sean, bro, hey, man, I got I got this bill, man. If you if you scratch my back, I got your back. You know what I mean? They need too each other. Too many compromises. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. That's, why, that's why when I hear people fight for them, I'm like, they're the same. I feel like when they're fighting on the Congress, when they're fighting on the Capitol Hill's floor, then that, that's when I'm just like, I gotta turn this off. This this doesn't make any you sense. You watch like, C-SPAN? I don't watch any of it. Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> wow, look <laughs> at you. you. Did you see where um, where one of the um, Congresswomen um, was called out for her fake lashes? Oh yeah. She, yeah. Oh, so yeah. I'm saying that back and forth yeah. stuff, man. Yeah, it's it's a different it's a different ball game. The, the political. It's just a different game. Yeah. It's not the same. And, you know, going back to them, too, you know, again, you have two pastors who sit on a stage and nothing was biblical. It was politics. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. politics. It was politics um, self. Was it was. It was, So the end of the at the end of the day, once you watch, what do we get from two men of God? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it was a waste of time. It was a waste yeah. of space. It was yeah. a waste the, of energy. The biggest and impact. Uh, I think his name is Mark Burns or something like that. Okay. Uh, the biggest impact he could have had, which he's not allowed to have because it would risk his position with Donald mm -hmm. Trump, is to say, you're right. That's where he's wrong. You're right. We both need to stop doing that. That's where then, he's then, wrong. Then impact. Yeah. Immediate impact. You stop doing what you're doing. 
I'm gonna start holding him for real accountable. But I, ain't, you, yeah. I ain't been doing that. But do you feel like that that whole setup was just a game for for the the, the election? Because it's, it's, to, all, it, yeah. it's it, it really like what was his goal, right? It was we know this person is popular right now. You know, Jamal Bryant did something. I'm gonna bring something up. I have a particular you know yeah, position sure. that I hold, yeah. and I'm gonna bring up what is very very much so conservative. Yeah, yeah. The abortion piece, you know, yeah. uh, LGP, and he stopped at I think he said TQ. He said something <laughs> that QT at the end. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like and so. At the end of the day, it, it, again, if we want to stick on on Bible, when God comes back, all that politicking, yeah. it, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it won't matter. So for me, I'm I'm disappointed in the both of them because yes. from a, yeah. a gospel from yeah. bringing God and what God should be about, neither one of them held their own. Yeah.